I've been interested in uh, uh, goals and uh, how people choose to go on pursuing their goals for, I think, uh, a bit more than 10 years uh, uh, by now. So uh, basically most of my research is on, uh, uh, on goals, on how people manage between multiple goals, uh, self-control conflicts, which are conflicts between several goals that uh, people would like to pursue. Um, and this particular project looks at uh, uh, how people choose means, how people choose actions or objects that will help them with their goals. Okay. Uh, the basic uh, um, idea, or you know, the, the normative idea, is that people should prefer something that does a lot. So I would prefer an action that can achieve multiple things. Uh, uh, an example from the, uh, the article, uh, I would uh, uh, rather get new bike if I can use my bike both as a form of exercising uh, and to commute to work. And we were interested in situations in which people prefer to choose an action or an object that serves less goals. And the idea was that in many uh, instances people prefer to choose something that is strongly related to the goal because it feels that by choosing that, I'm more likely to achieve the goal. This is really what the goal is about. And by that, giving up on actions or objects that can serve many goals. The main finding is that uh, when people have one thing that they want to achieve, one goal in mind, they tend to select the uh, action or the object that serves this particular goal and does not serve other goals. So in a way, they choose something that does less because that particular thing happened to be associated with whatever it does. Um, it's a, a Many times not a normative choice. Uh, many times there is uh, another uh, action or object that they can choose that will serve multiple uh, actions that would have, would have been better for them, uh, but uh, uh, they tend to go for the one thing that serves only one function. If I want food that is healthy, okay, because I am, for example, on a diet, and I learned that that particular choice also tastes very good, I might suspect that it's less effective in terms of maintaining my health. I might suspect that it's not, it's not really the healthy choice. It might us feel that maybe it's not a matter of organizing things on your shelf. I mean, it's also a matter of organizing things on your shelf, but it might also suggest something about how people organize these functions in the mind, and when something is not strongly associated with a particular goal, it ends up not being in any particular category, and I cannot easily retrieve it. Okay, so not many of us, when we need scissors, will reach a Swiss knife. And not many of us, when we want to write a note, will reach the laser pointer. So you end up just not using it because it doesn't come to mind. And that's the phenomenon that we documented. This has implications for how we uh, select people to work with, um, which is something that we are just getting into. Uh, and nowadays, uh, uh, people may prefer to work with a person that uh, uh, serves only one function in a way, okay, that is an expert on a particular issue, because when they think about the issue, that person comes to mind and miss out others that just have a more wide expertise. So they are not strongly related to any particular topic, but they can do many things. They have a wider perspective. Uh, it, it started uh, uh, when um, my co-authors and I were uh, uh, talking about goals and, and means, and uh, one of them wanted to show us this uh, wonderful pen that he got uh, uh, from a journal. He just uh, finished uh, his job as the, the editor, and he, uh, he got a pen that was also a highlighter, uh, laser pointer, and had these multiple functions. And he could not remember where he put it because it was not with all the pens, and it also was not where he put the highlighters. And 
Actually, I never saw that pen, so. People should not always maximize, uh, uh, add functions, uh, in a way add more goals to, to products uh, that might not sell and that might undermine the perception of the consumer that uh, the particular product is good at what it does. Uh, we know that for some products, uh, uh, they combine functions that seem to be related to each other. So you take several forms of entertainment and put them together in the same uh, product, an iPod, for example. Uh, we know that for other uh, products, when they serve many goals, that seems to be less effective. In a way, uh, uh, consumers uh, uh, prefer to uh, uh, kill one bird with one stone, not many birds with one stone, unless the birds are related to each other and I can capture it as the bird of entertainment, in which case it makes sense to combine several functions. So my recommendation, with some hesitation, because we are still studying it, would be to combine functions only if we can somehow frame it as one overall goal. And not several unrelated goals.